What's up guys, welcome back to Walls of CCLP4. We are on Garden of the Frost, which is the level that uses the technical walls of Cold Fusion Reactor. Uh, as mentioned before, uh, all of the teleports were replaced with Walker clone machines. Uh, probably, probably because I imagine using the same teleport placements twice uh, couldn't really be done without falling into like a ripoff of sorts. So, yeah, I totally understand why that was the case. Uh, I believe the ice is this, is all the same placements as well, which is pretty cool. Like, I can definitely see that being uh, something. Okay, yeah, so this is essentially a maze with a couple of block pushing segments and whatnot. Uh, it's definitely a very interesting level with pretty good aesthetics. Uh, I will give it that much. However, um, when I initially played this level in the difficulty ordered version, which I think was like level 47 or 48, I don't remember which. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of it, uh, mostly because there it, it just feels very claustrophobic. Um, that might that might have been the intent with this sort of level, but it just it, it, it just to me personally it doesn't feel like a level that should be claustrophobic. Um, especially when there's block pushing involved. Usually I don't really mind claustrophobic levels, but just with this sort of thing I didn't feel like it was the best approach. But hopefully me replaying it will change my mind, change my opinion of it. Uh, cause I am an open-minded person. So, okay, that just opens up like that just opens up like a little shortcut of sorts. Not to mention that uh, I believe there's no extra blocks here. So all these water spaces are pretty specific. It's cool how it all works out, I'll, but I, I don't know. Like, I'm still kind of eh with this level, to be completely honest. But I'm enjoying it much more than I was before, I can say that much. Okay, I need one more. So yeah, you need every block here. All right, so now we got that taken care of. Where do I go now? I guess down here. This is where the socket is, so I have to go back and uh, get more chips. But let's go through here first and get everything else we can. Okay, so... This one involves pushing blocks around to access the place. Uh, 
I guess it doesn't really matter which way I push that. And I guess I can go back through here. So the remaining five, I don't know where they are, except I kind of do now. Right here. There we go, that's all of them. I do like the little, that little bit right there with the, uh, like the intertwining of the two ice paths with the blocks. It, it, it's it's really interesting. Okay. I also think this is the last garden level of the set. I could be wrong, but I believe this is the last one. Because we did Garden of the Flow, which was Glacial Palace. We did Garden of the Sun, which was Chasing Chips. And we did Garden of... Uh the water or, or something I don't I don't remember what the other one was but it was periodic lasers walls and ice from cold fusion reactor which is still a uh, a much better teleport level than um, compactor reactor is sorry <laughs> but I, I still believe cold fusion reactor is the better of the two or cold fusion reactor did I say compactor reactor I don't remember too many reactors I don't know all right block plaza so this one is ball in an awkward place aka a level I wish wasn't in CCL before but it's in CCL before and this has, uh, this is one of those levels, I believe, a comment of mine inspired. If I remember it right. Yeah, um, let's see. Walls from ball in an awkward place. All blocks are on blue walls. Yeah, this is a, this is the level. Um, so... When I was playing through Josh L2, the, uh, I, th what, I forget what level was, it was. I think it was like Blocktopia or something. It was like level 55, I think. Um, but I said something about blue walls under blocks being an underused idea for a level which they are uh, and I guess that's what inspired this level to be made which is pretty cool I, I like it's one of those things as a, a member of the community to inspire a, another fellow or not a member of the community but it's it's nice to know that as a designer I can inspire other designers by some random thing I, I say or do or whatever. It's really cool. Plus Ball in an Awkward Place has a well, an awkward wall formation, so I know I don't have to do that, but I, I enjoy doing that. Okay, so we got what we got here. Got this chip right here. Blow that up just because I can. Okay, so that has to go up. So this is, this is more puzzle oriented. That's pretty cool. The, uh, I made a level in Josh L7 with this concept. I think it's called Corrosion, but this one's much more interesting than my, than that level. So I think I want to do something like this. Yeah, because then I can access this block and open up the path. And I think I want to get this one next. Blow that up. And 
can go through here and get this chip. And I just have one more to get. Which is behind the uh, the socket, apparently. Uh, I don't know where any of these keys are. Oh, I have a block right here, duh. Except I can't even use it. I think I was supposed to use this block up here, not the one I not the one I uh, did use. Oops. Yeah, because I can't even I can't do nothing with it. Okay. I like this opening bit because there's no hint that explains that these blocks are on blue walls. So you just kind of assume that you just do this to blow that up and you call it a day. But I, I like I like this beginning part. I've been noticing that the the latest design trend nowadays is make levels that don't necessarily require a hint to explain what to do or whatever. I, 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 a lot of people are going back to the uh, pre-CCLP1 era of design. Not, not era of design, but um, they're not afraid to design tougher things like uh, post CCLP1 d design did. I, I feel like that was the biggest hindrance upon CCLP1's release was once it was released, all these super easy levels were in the set and they were all beaten on the first, second, maybe third try by by majority of players, exceptions included uh, the obvious beginner players. Okay, let me get the let me get the block up here set up. And because they were all able to be beaten so quickly, a lot of people, I guess, expected other levels to be done the same way. And if they weren't, then they somehow were bad levels. But now, uh, it seems like people are going back to the back to the old days of designing not terribly mean CCLP3-esque levels, but designing levels that are, aren't exactly easy. Okay, so we got that, and we got that. So where do we go now? Oh, uh, did we use this block to uh, create a partial post of some kind? Okay, so this actually t takes advantage of the uh, of the uh, what's it called the mechanism area that wasn't showcased in Ball in the Awkward Place, which I do kind of wish I made that visible towards the end of the level, like Difficulty Switch did with its mechanism. <clears throat> but I'll be honest. I never even thought about making that mechanism visible. So, there's that. Okay, what do we got here? Got a whole other room. Okay, so I guess the goal is to get to get the green key first. How do I do that, though? I guess I'll do this. Oh, okay. So we'll push it down there to go through this teleport, and then just do some loops and get the green key.
Okay. So this block right here is essentially useless, so let's just shove it in the corner and call it a day. Okay. Whoa. Uh, I don't think any of these can be reached. I like the fact this room this room exists though. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I can go down. Oh, well, that's a. I wasn't expecting that to be the actual exit. That's cool though. That is Block Plaza. I really like the level. On honestly, I, I think I'd want to see that in CCLP5 if it happens. It it's it's so fun. I mean, it really is. It makes you think. It uses blocks in a very different way that's not commonly done. And well, let's face it. It 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 used the walls of Ball in the Awkward Place pretty good. Like that was another level I wanted to try to use the walls of for myself, but because of how random and specific they were, I honestly didn't think they could be used. But I I don't know. Origin Archive. Cause I just I think I recently watched JB play this level. This one uses Science Museum. This is actually toward the end of the set. So I don't know if that means it's a difficult one or well, why did I step in the trap? That's stupid. <sighs> okay, so let's just do this. So this is essentially a uh, a medley level. Where uh, a medley level of CCLP4 itself. There's a medley level of the levels in this set as well. Okay, I assume that's just for the ticking. Which I super appreciate that being a thing. Okay. Alright, so what do we got going here? We got a Sokoban. We haven't seen a Sokoban in a while. I'm surprised blocking an. or not block, uh. Between a block and a hard place didn't have a actual Soko ban. Well, I guess it technically did. But I mean literal Soko ban with the uh with trap buttons and such. Okay. So how do I do this? Just like that. Okay. So now I can just destroy this, right? Assuming so. Okay, so right down there is a clay tunnel section, it looks like. Go through here. Okay. Um, try to guide. I'm trying to find the path. So I need to go. I'll need this pop up wall to push it down. So don't use it here. Need to push it left. Need to push it down. So essentially, it's it has to be that one. Okay, and then the whole thing unravels. That is a pretty well-constructed clay tunnel part. I, I really like that. I think that was Shimazel. 
And this to the right was, uh, Oh, what was that level called? They're not blo they're not called blocks for nothing. And I think this is Ice Cavern. Okay, I probably should have done this first. Yeah, I might I might have wanted to do this this part first. But th this doesn't seem that bad. There we go. Okay. So I have a blue key, but I don't need fire boots right now, so that's not, obviously that's not a right decision. Okay, so I can go in here, get the chip. I think this is encasing carbonite as well. And this looks like it is uh, one who raids tombs. Okay, I need three more chips. I have no idea where they are. Oh, I, I, th I know where they are. They are in the block parking part. Which I kind of missed my stop. Yeah, I, I missed my stop to get off there. Oh well. Here we go. Okay. See anything recognizable? Anyway, walls from a science museum and the exit is under a block in the northeast. Oh yeah, I see everything recognizable. So how do I actually get into the... Uh... Oh, I can get the blue key here now. And I can get fire boots again. That's cool. I can go up here for no reason and I can go up here so this is where the exit is huh it's under that it's under that one okay origin archive is done that was a fun level you know you know medley levels are always enjoyable to play regardless of the contents it they're just so they're fun to make, they're fun to play, and honestly, they're more impressive than anything else, so I'm definitely impressed. Um, yeah, it was pretty fun. I enjoyed it. Digital Underground. Alright, so this one uses poof, or poof, whatever you call it. And this is a very... Uh, this is a very interesting start to this level. Okay, does it does it go to the force floor? I think it I think it clones right here. Okay. Clone 2 and go get the fire boots. I don't know why I'm yawning. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. Okay. This is a level that was previewed in the uh, Discord chat a couple months ago before I knew this set was a thing. And ever since then I've been dying to play this level because the aesthetics of this is freaking gorgeous like I can't even I, I can't even it's 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 a beautiful level <laughs> okay 
So I can get this. Okay. I can get this. Get that. And I assume I can go here. Yeah. And I saw a hint back here. What's it say? Walls from Poof. Shoutouts to Josh for the level name. Oh, thanks. I didn't realize that my my name wasn't mentioned in the hint. Yeah, uh, I I suggested the title for this level um, upon it being shown. Uh, the reason it was actually a level title I I planned to use myself for a CC2 level. Uh, I was gonna use it for a level that had like number tile, not number tiles, but like the the counter tiles with the numbers for aesthetics. But upon seeing this level's aesthetics, I felt like this f f was more fitting. Uh, the reason behind it, though, with this level is uh, because upon seeing the green and yellow lock aesthetic, I was instantly reminded of the digits from the digits from uh, MSCC. And those were colored green and yellow. So I thought it would have been a nice little thing to reference that. Shoutouts to uh, 1033 Forest, by the way. <clears throat> okay, so we got this Sokoban here. I need to get the other yellow key. Why am I yawning though? Like I'm, I just got tired all of a sudden. I don't know. I don't know why. Okay. I feel like I could solve this in this state. I I, I don't know if I can, but I feel like I can. Like I put these two blocks down here. Where's the fifth trap button at? Oh, I was standing on it. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. So I put these two blocks right here. Oh no, because the way these trap buttons are arranged. Never mind. If I put one right there, though... Hold on. If I put one right here... I don't recall the Sokoban being difficult. I did I did watch JB play this level, but that was that was quite some time ago. Not quite some time, it was maybe a month ago now, but and I don't remember I don't remember much about the solution to this. Okay, if I can somehow, if I can somehow, I think it's because I'm like yawning constantly is why I'm having trouble with this one. I, I seriously don't think this is that difficult of a Soka Man. I think it's just the fact I'm sleepy for whatever reason. Okay, if I don't do that, because if I do that... Well, no, that might be a good thing. Hold on. Let me do this. Do this. There we go. That was a good idea, after all. Okay. So this is a very interesting section with the blobs and such. Okay. So 
So is that everything? Okay. This fireball interaction is a little... Little, uh... Awkward, but we got it. And it's gonna chase me. I just, I love these aesthetics so much though, it's not even funny, and if that can be heard somehow, that's the trash guy, even though the trash guy came yesterday, so I don't understand why they're back, but oh well. But yeah, I, I love these aesthetics, like, like, good god, they are just so freaking beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so I think I need to... I think I need to do this. That's a little iffy, honestly, but... Okay, send you there, and then you can go back. I like that, I like that little bit right there. Okay, I got another key. Use this block and we can get two more keys. Hello, keyboard malfunction. Okay, then we go right then we go right here to get that key. And then we can exit. That is such a fun level, though. Like, my goodness. I love that level so much. Th that has to be one of my favorites in this entire set so far. And I just realized I solved it with only 33 seconds left. Jesus. <laughs> I really took that long on that Silco Ben. Uh, yeah, though. That that was that was a lot of fun. That That's an A-plus level. Um, really liked it. Everything was just... Perfect. There was some. I think the only part I didn't like about it was the fireball uh, crossover thing after the blob part. But that's like a very, very minor thing. Everything else was fantastic, though. Like seriously, that's CCLP5 material, in my opinion. Okay, sludge report. Uh, this level I've actually played. Before as a uh, a time trial level, I didn't enter into I didn't enter the time trial, but I did play the level anyway for fun. And this is essentially a blob melody or melody medley level. Um, every section features some kind of reference to blobs from CCLP's past or official sets past. Um, such as uh, this upper section is obviously greening in motion. This is, I guess, a common design trope with a blob in a 3x3 three three room. I guess that makes some sense. Walls from Sewerway. This is obviously blob dance. And this is Coral. Where's a green key? I haven't seen a green key. I think it's over here. This is abandoned mines, so that blob section there. I'm surprised jungle wasn't referenced here. But I guess that's because blob the blobs there were cloned. I think this is a, a civilization of creatures. And this one's slow mo, which did have blobs. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that, 
That's seriously unfortunate. Man, <laughs> that's so... That's lame. <laughs> I'm gonna speed up the toggle parity. I also like this little bit right here with the blobs right here. They blow up any of the bombs. They still open up the path, but they open up a different, slightly different path. I think that's pretty cool. All right, we're gonna go in here first. There we go. I kind of cornered myself in that one. I, I like this level, though. This is a pretty fun blob level. It's like the perfect amount of space. It's just, I, I like the little uh, nostalgic factor with all the references. Like, references are always fun to uh, reference to. The, this green in motion section, though, ugh, I didn't think that would happen. This green in motion section, though, is a little too tight for my liking, but I still like it. I, I, I'll, I'll, most, I'll blame more so the, the, the space given than actually designing the section itself. Okay, we're going to clear these out. And just make a dash for it. Come on, blobs, you know you want to die. Oh, they all died at the same time. <laughs> That's cool. I like the fact this was referenced with the, the blob and <laughs> civilization of creatures. Oh, come on. I'm just being impatient now. It doesn't. It seems like no matter what section I take on first, I'm I'm still gonna die. Okay. We'll let that die. In the in the meantime, we'll go do something else. Okay. I'm kind of surprised that wasn't a blob cloner. Not that it really matters, but just to go with the blob theme, I... Even though there's one blob here, it's it's problematic. There we go. I think it was just giving me bad luck. It's giving me a hard time. I wish I can trap this blob. 
Actually, I, I can trap the blob. But it could... It could still get me. Oh. Okay, forget you, Blob. Okay, since there's two paths to the exit, I'm not too worried about blocking that entry. <coughs> Alright, Sludge Report is done. I really... I, that's a fun level, honestly. I mean, I'm probably going to say that about a lot of these levels, but it, it, it stands true. They are a lot of fun. They just are. That was a pretty cool blob level, though. <clears throat> Antimatter Space Station. I think I'm going to play this right now just because it looks like it's a short level. And it uses the very slim walls of sealed doors in the spacecraft. So I think I want to do that. It's funny, you know, I, I never thought uh, sealed doors in the spacecraft could be used for something because of how narrow and compact the level was. But it, it's something that's pretty cool. I wonder how that red key can be reached. Walls from sealed doors in the spacecraft. And I want to say the outside of the level is inverted. Uh, meaning all the the gravel from the original is now ice, and the ice from the original is now gravel. I think that's how it is. Okay. All right, antimatter space station's done. That wasn't too bad. That was a pretty fun level. Um, pretty simple to figure out, really. I, I think it was busted in MS from like teleport shenanigans or something, uh, but was since fixed. There, are, I know the set's been updated a few times since I've, well, I don't know how many times. I want to say at least twice since I've last recorded. I don't know if my copy is. Uh, needs to be updated though because I know uh, the difficulty ordered version is the is the preferred one and the official version of the set this level order is most mostly for uh, optional purposes I suppose um, and isn't being updated as as frequently but I still would like to play the updated versions of these levels just so that I'm not playing something that's been fixed or that's busted in this version, but it has been fixed in another. I, I don't know. Um, I, I realize this set is posted on PyGuy site, and there's been score reports on it, but I don't know. I, I, I personally wouldn't use that as my reason to not update something, but that's just me. Uh, I would just prefer to have a updated version of my of my of this set. I realize I could be playing the level the difficulty order version, but yeah, I, I want I want to be different. So I guess being different has its consequences. But um, if I can if I, if I can in some way you know play the updated fixes to some of these levels, I don't think I've played any that are, have been broken aside from. Uh, that com com uh, car uh, the, the, the flipper department walls of level uh, the one that, that I busted um, which I have yet to replay in this I know it's, that's been fixed and the Silkman actually has to be solved now but uh, that's the only one I can think of that I know I've busted in this version the rest have been busted from either JB's playthrough or some other place but hopefully I can play the updated versions of the levels that were busted, or, or yeah, that were busted. Um, 
but we'll figure it out as I go along. But until then, we're going to end it off right here. So uh, thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this relatively longer video, but the last one was short, and this one covered a few bit more levels than the last one did. So uh, we will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.